Hi folks, here we are back again. Today we're going to set up a new wee challenge. We're going to cook an egg in a bean can. Now, any can can do, these just happen to be the ones that are in my house at the moment. So, first thing we have to do is prepare our bean can. Okay, so let's go do that. Okay folks, right, so first process is, we're gonna have to puncture a series of holes in around the bottom of the can. You'll, it'll make sense in a wee minute. It's for allowing the air to circulate through. And then I'm gonna puncture a hole somewhere around here, about two thirds of the way up the can. And that there's what's gonna suspend our egg for whenever we're cooking. Okay, so if you just bear with me two seconds. Now. Okay, so that should be enough wee perforated holes around it. Now I've cut a wee piece of wood just for a minute to put inside here for whenever we're doing the centre piece. And the reason I've done that is because when I was puncturing the hole down here, we've got the base on it so it doesn't puncture as bad. Whereas on this side now, you could dent your can. Not that it really matters, you know, but it just. It, it'll, so it won't distort it as much. That's one hole. And then roughly here again. Okay. So, yeah, kick this out. That was the only reason that we had a wee block of wood. So, now we do, if I want just take the other end off. And that there is our canister prepared. Okay, so we'll take it back over to the table now and we'll prepare our egg. Okay, now we've got our canister and thing. Next thing we do is we'll roll out a piece of wire. This is just ordinary picture wire that you can get from any wee local shop, pound shop or anything like that there. And what we're doing is just trying to straighten it there a wee bit. What we do is then we take our egg and we're trying to find the top of it, a puncture, a small wee hole, just like that. Top and then a small wee hole then at the bottom. Just be careful that you don't exert too much force or would crack and break an egg. And these are that fragile that that can happen very easily. Um, when we're away on camp, we use these sort of things um, as challenges and bases. And as you've seen there, things go wrong every so often. So that's fine. We'll just move on and try another one. So again, we're going to try and fish this through. I say it's a because the hole is that small. It, it's a very delicate operation because if you break too much of the yolk of the egg, then we we'll only get half a half an egg cooking, which I've done several times. Uh, the trick here is we want to try and get the full egg to cook as opposed to just half an egg but sometimes it just doesn't go according to plan so we will persevere so we will just try this side maybe I say on camp whatever it is, you generally get maybe 20 minutes to do a base such as this. And in that time, you know, when you're working in pairs or working in groups, you know, one group could have been 
making the can up while the other's trying to fish a piece of wire through an egg. <laughs> Which I'm obviously making look not just so easy. Okay, so now uh, once we have it through, what I do is we'll just twist that one around there, twist this back under itself, and through here. Just trying to give it a wee twist without cracking your egg too much. This hopefully will allow us to be able to turn it whenever it's in our can. Now, we're going to have to try and fish it through. This is the tricky part. Just be careful, you can cut yourself here. As obviously we've punctured this with a knife, so it is quite a bit more challenging and difficult. And there we go, there's it through there. Now all we have to do is get our candle and then we'll start cooking. Okay, now we've got that in, all we're gonna do is light our candle. This is our heat source and place our egg over the top of it like so and as you see and then we need to be able to turn it so we do and hopefully in about 10-15 minutes we'll have a whole egg cooked some of the ones that I've done previous to this, you know, might have only got half one and the one that's been shown there at the minute, they didn't even get done. Okay, I'll see you back here in a couple of minutes. Okay folks, that's our 20 minutes up. So if we were on camp now, that would be it. A bit of time to finish our challenge. Take out our egg. Oh, that works. Release our egg. Now, uh, because this was cooking, it will be warm. Is just have cold water sitting here. So, depending on how high up or down that was on the can, will depend whether we manage to cook it in 20 minutes or not. And I have a funny feeling this one is undercooked. I'd say we have a runny egg. Let's get that out. So. Oh. Dippy egg. There you go. It was nearly a dippy egg. So, as you can see, if we had maybe left it for another minute or two, we might have had a fully cooked egg. So that was three quarters cooked. So I say it just depends on how far up or down the can you put it towards the flame will depend whether you can get it to cook in time. I say we have done this before, it does work. So I'd like to see your efforts for next week. Thank you, God bless.